My name is Mitchell Warren, and I'm the executive director of AVAC, an organization focused in HIV prevention, but working in sexual reproductive health and rights, and a proud partner of FP2030. Family planning empowers couples to make informed decisions about their reproductive health, enabling them to plan for a better future. In the context of HIV, these decisions become even more critical. By integrating family planning and HIV within universal health coverage, we can provide comprehensive care to individuals, ensuring their contraceptive choices align with their HIV status, their desired family size, and their lifestyle. Healthcare is always more effective when it recognizes people as whole humans, not just patients. No one only wants to prevent HIV or prevent pregnancy. They want to live out whatever life they're dreaming of. And avoiding HIV or unintended pregnancies is just one facet of their big picture. Some of the barriers to access for HIV testing and treatment and prevention are actually the same barriers people face when they're trying to access family planning. Provider stigma, lack of quality commodities, harmful policies, and lack of political will and funding. Communities who are at heightened risk of HIV acquisition also sometimes have a particularly acute need for family planning services, sex workers, LGBTQI plus people, and young women. So if the barriers to these services look the same, it's not at all surprising there's quite a bit of common ground in the solutions too. Dismantling provider bias, building political will, funding inclusive and intersectional programs, and most importantly, putting people at the center makes healthcare more accessible and more impactful for everyone, not just people specifically looking to avoid HIV or access contraception. Coming together to integrate HIV and family planning movements is on all of us, and it's far past time to do it. More than that, it's a critical piece in achieving the goals of SDG3, good health and well being for all. But no one, no one organization, no one individual, no country, no community can do it alone. So let's get to work together.